Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I wanted to talk about something that has been on my spirit, in my mind, in my soul. And it's about strange fire in the church. What is strange fire? Okay, first of all, I'm going to start with in Exodus 30 and Leviticus. God outlines a proper sacrifice to him. What am I saying? They be sacrificing people. And the crazy part, it goes over y'all head. You know, <laughs> I can't go what I really want to say because God told me it's not time as far as something. But I will say this. They they keep trying to call. And these are calls. I don't even know their number. So but anyway, I'm talking about strange fire in the church. What is strange fire? I'm going to hit it hard straight up. Okay, when Nadab and Abihu lit the offering in the censer themselves, their fire was profane, and thus God was not in it. They prepared an incense offering upon kindling of their own and not of the holy incense from the sacred bronze altar. That's it right there. It's a fake anointing. Come on, somebody. And y'all get mad when people say it. it's a How do you know? The true anointing of God, it heals, it delivers. Okay to catch the Holy Ghost. They will not hurt themselves. If somebody hurt themselves while catching the Holy Ghost, that's because it's strange fire. They sit up there and they did that. They did up there trying to pro perform or whatever the case may be. I'm going somewhere. In every arena, people are using strange fire. What is strange fire? Strange fire is anything that don't identify with God that they made it up. How you call horse? It, it's a. It's it's like witchcraft. Uh, but they call it strange fire because it's a form of witchcraft. And, and it'll make it seem like it's God. It'll sound like God. It'll talk like God. It'll walk like God. But a true Christian will say, that ain't God. Oh, come on, somebody. And I'm going to be honest with you. Y'all be seeing that strange fire. Oh, God, I got to go here. Let me tell you about strange fire. Strange fire don't respect the spiritual laws of God. So if I see you. Not operating in the spiritual laws of God. That's strange fire you got. You can say what you want. I don't care if you're a Christian or what you think you are. If you are operating outside the spiritual laws and commandments of God, you have strange fire. What is strange fire? Something weird all happen all the time. Ooh, I just said something. L let's go here with um Leviticus 10. Let's go here with Leviticus 10. Okay, so it says that um, Nahab... Nadab and Abihu, the sons of Aaron, took either of them his censer and put their put fire therein and put incense thereon and offered strange fire before the Lord. The reason why God called it strange fire, they were in sin. Come on, what is strange fire? That's just like, and I'm going here because I ain't got time to play with y'all. God, you're gonna make me say it on. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let's say, oh Lord, you're gonna make me say it. I got to, I got to. Okay. Let's say I come and minister at your church and then something ended up happening bad. That was strange fire, which I rebuke because I ain't going to never do that because I love God too much. Y'all ain't ready for me, huh? So, and then again, get mad. I don't care. Hallelujah. So verse 2, I'm in chapter 10, Leviticus. It says, and there went out fire from the Lord and devoured them. And they died before the Lord. Do you understand how 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 dangerous it is to present strange fire before God? Because God said, wait a minute. You are presenting strange fire, which is really of the enemy, which is witchcraft. Let me go ahead and devour you. I'm saying something. Lord, I hope they hear me. You can't play with strange fire and somebody not die. Y'all ain't ready for me. You cannot play with strange fire and somebody not die. What am I saying? Y'all are letting anybody come and minister in y'all churches that have a form of godliness. But on the backside, they're living a double life. And then now, whatever was on them is inside that church in the atmosphere and, and on the people. Now the people are tainted. And y'all think that that's of God? Come on, somebody. God going to get you. God going to get everybody because here's the deal. It, and I don't care who. Thank you, Lord. I'm going to be so transparent right now because y'all need this. Even today, there are some times that my feelings get hurt. And I'm going to be honest with you. Like, I'm not going to say any names this time. There were some people that I was going to connect with. And it seemed like they just playing me off, just to be honest with you. And so I went to God. I said, God, what's that about? He said, Deanna, you know why. So let me go ahead and tell y'all about Apostle Deanna Dixon. Why people don't really call me to preach and teach at their church. Because they can't control my mouth. 
They don't know what God going to have me to say. Hallelujah. And I let God be God. So guess what, honey? That's just the way it's going to be till I die because I'm not. Hallelujah. Y- y'all will not be able to control this mouth. And, and, and hold on. Y'all, don't, y'all haven't figured it out how the mainstream works. If they can control you, they let you in. If they can't control you, you they put the word out on you. Man, don't invite them because you don't know what they're going to say. Y'all, let you, hello, I'm telling the truth up in here. And it used to hurt me. I can't lie to you. And sometimes it still make me feel weird. But then I'm, I, I don't mind because as long as I'm saying the truth before God, they can miss me. It's fine. I don't have to be mainstream, but what I am going to be is with God. I'm going to say what does said the Lord, because to be honest with you, it's like, it's unpopular. It's unorthodox because it's just like, uh, I don't know if y'all noticed, but one person preached on something like when David Prince came over here, everybody's talking about grace. So you mean to tell me that God going to just give one person and everybody going to follow suit. I don't roll like that. I hear God on my own. God, what do you want me to say? What you want me to do? And, and y'all, I know sometimes it sounds bad. I know it sounds horrible. But I need y'all to know something. And this is real. I need y'all to really hear me. Anybody that God tell me to say, thus said the Lord, it's not that I don't like the person. I don't even know them people. But I'm going to do what God said because that might save their soul. You see, let me tell you something. If somebody famous and they got a lot of money, most people ain't going to tell them nothing because they want to get in good. Me, I could, I could care less. I could care less. I don't care. You ain't never got to like me. You can talk about me all day long because guess what? It's about your soul. So if I got to tell you the truth to save your soul and then you put out bad news on me or whatever the case may be, then that's on you. Put it out, honey. Because guess what? When we get to heaven, and we will, when judgment day come, I'm my hands going to be clean. See these hands? They're going to be clean. I promise you. So I ain't trying to be with the mainstream. I'm with God. Whatever you say, God, whatever you want me to go, God. And it's hard. It's hard because it's like people don't like me. I'm going to be honest with you. And and again, I used to get sad and cry. Now I'm like, whatever. They'll, They'll get it after all this is over with. Think about it. They'll get it after because most people, you want to, you want to be accepted. But when you truly understand who you are in Christ, you were set apart for a reason. You're not going where everybody else go. Oh, I just said something. Hallelujah. So let me read verse three. It says, then Moses said unto Aaron, this is that the Lord spake saying, I will be sanctified in them that come nigh me. And before all the people, I will be glorified. And Aaron held his peace. He told that to his brothers. His now after, hold on. That's how deep this was. After they presented the strange fire, and that was his nephews. Did they stop my thing again? So I'm going to reiterate from now on. I see what they're doing. So, and that was his nephews. So you know what he did? He said, it doesn't matter. God said the people that should come near him must be sanctified, must be holy. I just said something. Y'all said they're playing that game and it'll cost somebody else their life. I just said something. And somebody going to catch a hold of this and somebody going to get mad when they really catch the hold to it. Because I'm saying something deeper than what y'all understand. Most of y'all don't understand what I'm really saying. But but like I said, it, it's something deeper going on behind it. I just can't I can't I can't really say it all right now because God told me not now. But I'm telling you right now, quit letting people with strange fire into y'all sanctuaries. Y'all ain't got to call me. That's cool. I'm cool with that. I didn't got over that. But if they are not sanctified by God, God, they messing with my stuff. They really messing with my stuff. If they are not sanctified by God, and y'all just calling them because they have a great name. Or they got great stats, want it popular instead of principle. Y'all want it popular instead of principle. What is principle? The laws of God. I'm sticking to the principles to the day I die. And I'm not playing because I'm not going to hell for So praise God, praise God. This is a possible. Stop allowing strange fire in the pulpit, in your house, in your ear. Watch your gates. I don't care if it's me. Test the spirit by the spirit. It is If it is not of God, reject it, said the Lord. Hallelujah to his name. Quit going with the mainstream. They keep cutting it off. I'm going to say it again. Don't find yourself in trouble with God. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Oh, I like that. She said, I want to be popular in heaven, not on earth. That, that's, that's pretty much what we have to do. That's what, that's, don't heap up treasures on earth, but heap up treasures in heaven. But to be honest with you, everybody want that money and a famous name. I'm famous. 
and yet you getting tainted the whole all while. I told y'all, and I was serious. I, I'm not a liar. There were three times big things were about to happen, and I was so mad at God. But I can honestly tell you right now, I thank God he stopped it. Because at the time, I wasn't where I was, and God knows I did what I was supposed to do. So sometimes you ought to just thank him for what he stopped. Hallelujah. Y'all sitting up there thinking, you know, be thankful for what you have. I don't know who that's for. Be thankful. I, I know sometimes it get tight. I know sometimes it's like, oh, God, where you at? It's 11.59. I need it at 12 o'clock. Be thankful. Because I'm telling you right now, the cost that they're paying is more than they want to pay. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. God bless.